Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are back again, running it back one more time and seeing what we can do. Let's give it a go. We had a good run last time. We got regular Eve this time. Why not with a bit of regular Eve? Boss rush to the beast this time. We haven't been to the beast in a while. So we will certainly attempt to do that. I've not really been sticking with the uh, the paths that's been giving us all too much recently, but there you go. Um, broken shell. Plus one burn heart, plus three gigabombs, targeted enemies, um, targets enemies familiar that spawns bombs when colliding. Okay, interesting. And we also started with the crow's heart, which seems very valuable. Um, I will not, not deny that. Probably, okay. This is great. Okay, so essentially what we have here is a familiar that auto bombs enemies. And it can be used multiple times per room too. Okay, so we can actually kind of like bait this out a little bit. Let's let's try and move you a little bit. Come, move, move, move. Oh, you bastard. We can kind of abuse that a little bit. Because I ain't no alabaster. I kind of want that alabaster box. Few times. I don't actually know the lyrics to that song at all. I do not want to lose my burn heart here. It is going to be a little tricky with situations like that coming up. Um, there's a soul heart. Okay, so... How do I do this without losing my burn heart? <laughs> I don't want to lose my burn heart. But I very much do want to take that and get in Horror Babylon. I suppose... Let me just try this. Okay, it does work. Good. Cool. Okay. Thank you, Crow's Heart, for letting me do that. Whoop, what the heck? That was strange. Uh, but yeah, we can kind of abuse this to uh, to bomb things like those pots there. Um, so, for example, we can kill this one spider here. If we can kill this one spider here. Come on now. There you go. And we can bait this bomb into this spider in order to place a bomb to destroy more of the pots. Now, it is a bit hard to give it direction. But, for example, let's, let's wait this out. There you go. Oh, I, I just missed it. Oh, shit. I forgot about the Gigabomb. Oh, hello there. Um, Yeah, and we can actually kind of use that as a way of getting more bombs. What in the shit am I looking at here? What on earth is this? This is pretty cool. Definitely want the brain worm. Let's get out of here. Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah, so we can, like, push the bomb around to either do more damage. Oh, and it seems to come back at a random interval, maybe? That, that came back very quickly then. Oh, I was wondering why that was moving then. A spider's just moving it. Okay, so we leave that there. We let this bomb you. Come on, fly. You can do it. Nope, you can't. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Right, I'm going to use my Gigabomb on um, on pin here. Did not work at all. Okay. Doesn't matter, we got him. Take that. And we'll drop on down here. Hello, Gigabomb. Do I want to try and look for my secret room on this floor first? Yes, I know it's going to waste a Gigabomb, but the three Gigabombs are kind of not very high priority for us, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's here. Just because they're going to go. Hey, nice. Okay, every third shop item on the current floor will cost one penny. Buying two items with hearts will make all of the items free. Okay, interesting. I kind of want to see if we can get Alabaster Box. I'll see what my donation machine says. I will lose my razor blade if I do that, though. If I can afford it, though, I'm going to take it. And we can indeed afford it. Because I've got a lot of health right now. Probably should take the crow's heart with me. Oh, God. That worked out. But you see what I mean? We can actually utilize that quite a lot and quite nicely. I'll just be careful of our health here. Alabaster box can be very good. It can also be a little tricky. Oh, 
These little enemies, yeah, these little enemies are real bad for us right now. Um, I'm going to bomb this anyways, just because we get a blue fire out of it and some chests. And we get Vibrant Bulb also. Beautiful there. Just lost my Horror Babylon for absolutely no reason whatsoever. That's the most depressing way to lose Horror Babylon. A Red Heart spawned on me from that chest. I should have thought about that when opening the chest, to be honest. It was kind of obvious that was going to happen. It's still very frustrating that it did, though. Anyways, we're going to have to deal with slightly lower stats for now. Hope for the best. Money's great, because we're going to be buying Soul Hearts. That right there is a, a door mimic, so we're going to pop that. Hope it gives us some Soul Hearts. Okay, this could be good. Right, so, what we got? Chariot, um... Stars, teleports you to treasure room, spawns an extra item and reroll machine. That's really good. Spawns two cards. Stomps many times. Stomps two red hearts. I mean, I might as well pick it up now. Ace of clubs. Hierophant is real nice for us right now. Temperance is actually really good for us right now as well. There you go, Horror Babylon. Damn it, IV bag. Why'd you do this? Actually, I can at least use the IV bag. There you go. Back into Horror Babylon. And then for the rest of these, we can just play you. You're gonna drop another card? Is that how you work? You just re-roll cards? Okay, I didn't actually know that's how this guy works. That's pretty good. Not what I wanted, but hey her. Um. And I think we take the stars to get out of here. I know this is a lot of cards to waste, by the way. But there's not really much else I can do with this. And I don't want to use the D100 right now. So we'll stars card out. And let's see what it gives us. Little baby bomb. Little baby bomb. Why'd you do this to me? Also, Kroha again. My little baby bomb just screwed me. 100 coins equals a 1-up. 7 blocks can now be replaced uh, by regular blocks. 7 blocks... Oh, uh, question... It's not 7. It's a question mark block. Question mark blocks give coins when blown up. We'll give that a go. We also get to keep this as well. Would have been great to re-roll that a little bit with money, you little troll. Ah, oh, there's one. I'm going already. So, I'm guessing they're similar to Fool's Gold Rocks. Let's find out. Yeah, they're, they're basically... Reskinned Fool's Gold Rocks. Mario themed. I like it. Soul Heart for sale? Nope. Luck decreases accuracy plus luck up. I don't think we really want that right now. Uh, I kind of want to reroll for a Soul Heart in the shop. Restock, however, is very good. Hard. I don't think that's really that good for us right now. We need to roll deep on this. Yes, that's good. I will take... Ooh, there's the one cent item as well. One cent flight. Hell yes. Okay, this one cent thing with restock could be pretty good. Yeah, one cent flight. I'll heck and take it. Okay, we're getting close to filling it. I'm going to do my rest of our rooms here just in case. I should probably blow up these poops as well. Glad we got our apple back. <laughs> I've just, I've just clued in to just how fucking hilarious we look right now. <laughs> we got Horror Babylon with a fucking Mario hat and a jetpack. We are looking like the biggest goober you've ever seen. The biggest goober. And Brainworm's going to be like sort of semi-herming too, which is really nice. I'm liking the setup we got going on right now. I will definitely say I'm liking the setup. I'm glad I'm getting better at spotting those warm mix too. The loot in them might be a little strong. <laughs> you can, like they're, they're kind of easy to spot. They're not exactly super uncommon. And the loot you get from them is pretty absurdly good. I wonder if this guy can eat the uh, thingy small bombs. I'm just going to get him to eat a big one for now. I like the little fire trail as well. That's actually been improved a lot since I last used Jetpack. I'll definitely say that. Good. 
Oh, I picked up a heart again. God damn it. Keep doing that by accident. Right, we should we should check the devil deal because we can take free ones here. We probably want to get rid of some red hearts. Um, yes. And yes. Oh, that no longer... Oh, wait, I was going to say it no longer gives black hearts. That's not what happened. Our black hearts filled out Alabaster Box. That's fine by me because Alabaster Box always gives three soul hearts when it pops anyways. And we upped our damage and fire rate by a decent amount there, so I think that's fine. And obviously we guaranteed permanent Horror Battle on too, which is a huge bonus for us right now. Huge bonus for us right now. Uh, I do need more money, so I will, I will pop this. And this one as well. Hey, there you go, Soul Heart. Fill this bad boy up. That's not two items, and that's not three Soul Hearts. Excuse me. Uh, plus one faith, extra damage, chance for soul. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe they nerfed it, or maybe maybe if you're like carrying too much evil stuff like Abaddon, it gives you less. I don't know. Maybe they nerfed it. I didn't see anything about it being nerfed, but it def that's definitely not what it normally gives. So I'm inclined to say they did. This guy's still all glitched out. Slot machines, uh, beggars. Okay, that's, that's, that's interesting. Monstrous Tooth, no thank you. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Spin Wheel is a, an intriguing one. We can still fire normally if we tap shoot, so that's fine. But after a certain amount of time, this starts happening. At least there's some wacky, wacky business. Oh, actually, with Brainworm, this might be pretty good. Ooh. Grants you two Lemme Get and Wisps at the beginning of a floor. That sounds great. And then, honestly, I just want to try something here. If I buy this, will that next one be free? It will. Sadly, it's not a very good one, but this is a good tactic. Um... I think I still want to carry the full heal apple, even though it won't do anything for us. I'm probably not going to blow up my mirror this time. I normally do, but I don't think it's... Okay, you're with Brainworm. This is actually kind of decent. Oh, that's in the spawn room there, I see. Yeah, this is actually really good. <laughs> Fucking spinning wheel. Spinning wheel is a great item. Also, a lot of these rocks. Shops are going to be so good for us now. Yeah, I'm not going to bother bombing our uh, mirror this time around. I don't think we need it. Um, no thank you. However, I will actually go and make sure we leave this in here just as a um, red key thingy. So we're going to try and go do beast this time, aren't we? Hey, <laughs> that's so good. Speed up's great here. Probably not going to be able to take anything from here. Ooh, Abyss is pretty good. Abyss is pretty good. This is a revive as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no for now. I like the idea, but our health is just not good enough, and I don't wanna compromise the run that we've got going on right now. It's already a little risky, and it's very good. We're gonna get two Lemme Get em Wisps here. We got Rotten Tomato and some bomb item. I'm not sure what the bomb item is exactly. See what the bomb item does. Nothing by the looks of it. Maybe it's like the plus 10 bombs thing. Because that doesn't do anything as a lemma get wisp. In a room with a lot of enemies, it's probably uh, better that we use the um, that we use the spinning wheel, otherwise we should tap shoot. I think that's kind of be the way that we play this. Because it does up our fire rate a hell of a lot, so. Forever alone. Sadly, not really something we want, but there you go. Okay. I'm liking this run a lot right now. Okay, this is a this is a definite spinning wheel room. And the fire is helping us out a ton too. 
Let's keep it going. I wonder if I end up being able to build up a few wisps over the course of a few floors, or if they're likely to die, each floor sort of thing. Okay, this is definitely a spinning wheel sort of room. Hey, extra money. Extra money's always going to be good, because we're always, with restock, going to be able to buy three items a floor, pretty much. If we can get to... Th th I think 31 cent is what allows us to get three items, which is a fair... It's a fair shot of being able to do that most floors. Not, not every floor... But most floors. So we're looking for one extra penny at the minute. Petrified poop within this room specifically will help with that. There's a soul heart as well. There you go. We'll come back for you, Petrified Poop, if we need you. I think we tap you in this room here. Get gone, boy. Come on now, fella. Pop your head up for us. And then this room... Get the spinning wheel going once again. It's such a cool item. It's such a, like a destructive tier modifier, kind of like Tiny Planet, where it can really ruin a run. But the fact that they added the ability, because it never used to give you the ability to tap shoot for a short time, um, like to, to avoid the spinning effect. It never used to have that. It's a, such an amazing addition, because it allows you to choose if you use it now or not, which is obviously really, really good. That's uh, so what we got here. We got the greater... Um, the Fierce Mask applies the following effects in boss rooms. 2020, um, you can't use any active items or cards. Okay, that's amazing. We buy that. And then we buy that. Ah, Steam Sale. You had to do it to me, did you? So, yeah, this is... <laughs> this Fierce Mask thing's really good. It's what Soul should be. My goodness. That's strong. Plus one black heart. Ignore one lethal hit of damage. Ah, oh, we've had this one before. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, so Sanguine Bond actually did get a buff. Uh, it's actually a lot better now. I still wouldn't say it's a good option for us to take right now. Refills all of Isaac's HP, removes all of his coins. I, again, I don't think either of those are really worth anything to us. Let's keep it going. I'm enjoying myself so far. This is a very cool little room we got going on here. Spinning wheel is always fun. We have managed to keep all of our wisps, and now we've got little monster and ice baby. And a planetarium with a new item. Shooting for four seconds will make all your tears best into a holy laser ring when the fire button is released. Right. One, two, three, four. Interesting. Okay, there's actually a charge bar for it, I see. Okay, with spinning wheel? With spinning wheel, I can imagine this being pretty good. Yeah, I like this. This is, this is weird. I did not expect to see any new planetary items, I can tell you that for sure. Can't really tell how strong it is, but for a tier 4 item, I'm imagining it's reasonably strong. It seems to have some sort of after effect type deal as well, where it'll deal damage a little after the fact. Like, the, the radius thing kind of catches enemies for a short amount of time. Mongo baby, why not? Wait. My, 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 uh, 7 up block, 7 up block, what that about? The question mark block disappeared. Oh my god, how did I not get hit there? Yeah, this is cool. I like it. It's definitely not four seconds, though. It's like one, two, three. It's three seconds. It says four in the description. Maybe I, maybe I read it wrong. That's also possible. By the way, this thing with piercing, I can imagine, would be insanely good. Because you'd be able to, like, place the shots inside of enemies. Always, like, rubber cement or something. Some pennies in there. We're at 31 cent as well, so we can cheese our shop a little bit too. Yeah, this is really cool. This is such a good modded run. Oh, ho tears up on top of it too. Oh, it's up to 15 tears with this now. Hell yeah. It's going to be so good.
utilizing my bombs wherever I can to get more money. Seems we get about five cent out of these each time, at least. Ooh, what the hell? It's a rock pile. Okay. So we got the mallet. Obviously, we don't really care about the mallet too much. The arrays is probably a little better for us. Sadly, this has been a bit terrible. Um, I'm actually just going to buy the HP, I'll be honest. I'll, I'll keep the arrays there. Oh, we've got restocked HP. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm going to keep the eraser. I'll be honest. It's a little better for us right now. Can't believe we've got a planetarium. So lucky. Another soul heart. Booyah, baby. Right. And then we can go and do our boss, which gives us 2020 and all sorts of good shit. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Synth oil's lovely. Grab all of this. Grab that. Been getting a deal deal every floor so far. Again, I, I've been getting deal deals every floor. I am not convinced by them whatsoever right now. Right, down we go. Try and grab our fool card. Got to remember that. Oh, wait. I might have buggered up here. We might not be able to fight the beast. We can't use cards in the boss fight, which means you can't get to the beast. I just realized. There's a possibility that's going to be a problem. I, I'll have to see. I'm hoping they added an exception for fool cards or teleport cards. Because otherwise that's going to be a pretty big problem for us. That's going to be a pretty big problem. I didn't even see what my Lemmageddon's ones were either. Pisces and Dad's Ring, I think. Not Dad's Ring. It's some sort of ring. Okay, we got a stars card. That'll do. Yeah, I have a feeling. Hopefully, it's like after the boss fight ends, we're fine to uh, we're fine to carry on. We've missed boss rush, unfortunately. Come on now. It's time to drop your shit. Keep it going. Keep it breezy. We're so strong right now, it's great. What, that hit me? Okay. You say that if you want, but I don't believe you. We're getting hearts everywhere from this item. God damn. Make sure let's grab another Eternal Heart, though, if we can help it. Definitely want this. Right, let's go find our secret room. Could be here. It is indeed. And we get experience bar. Killing enemies gains Isaac experience, gaining enough. Level up, increasing stats slightly every level. Nice. I like the idea of that. Cool to see some modded items in the secret room pool as well. Um, we can also buy that now. And we can also buy that now. The electric dice. I'm so sad to... I I'm going to keep this box, to be honest. So sad to see you go. We found the item room yet? We haven't. Right. We found our boss room. To be expected. Right, let's, uh, let's bail back over towards our item room first. Just in case our teleport card doesn't let us do the beast, which honestly I'm having a feeling it won't. <laughs> Unless they've made a claw so you can use cards after the boss is killed. Which I, I just, I don't know. I feel like this is an oversight that would be super, super simple to make by accident. Like it's a, it's a specific thing that I, ca that I can honestly tell you that I probably wouldn't have thought of when making the item, so... I 100% think it's an oversight the developers could have made. I'm pretty sure this is an... Actually, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it is an epic item, this uh, this this Fiesta Face or whatever the hell it's called. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, it's not an oversight, but it could be. We shall find out. That's a lot of rocks. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Okay, so Boom Bow on those... Can grab whichever one of these we want and then we can stars card okay it did work 
it did actually work. One moment. Right, let's speed this up. Let's keep it going. So where, where the hell was our starting room? This way, maybe? Yeah, here it is. Okay, we actually, it actually did work. I really thought having not been able to use cards against bosses, it was going to be an herbicide and just get us stuck in that room, not being able to teleport out. But luckily, I think they thought of that, which is awesome. I'm leveling up pretty rapidly here. I don't know what lemma getting wisps I got again, I didn't check. So many golden hearts. Oh my lord. Having flight is so useful on these floors. Sack room, I don't think so. I, we're, we're near to 31 cent as well here. God, those things are so fast. Good, good. The speed that we are going is incredible. Spinning wheel is making this a breeze. Is a shop. God damn it. We get a, sh a final shop. I, it's, please someone out there that's smarter than I, make a mod that makes it so that the last greed shop cannot be... So that the last normal shop cannot be greed. So this mausoleum one... Well, whatever, whatever the last shop that you that you can enter is, it's super annoying. Ooh, double spiders. Hell yes. Oh god. Did not mean to walk into that there. Stars card, why not? Candied heart, probably not great. I'll take angry fly instead. We got bales above. Okay, okay. Right. Back this way, I think. An interesting room right there. We do have a tinted rock here. Oh, you bastard. The little baby bomb got me. What on earth is that thing? Interesting. I just want to say, hoping for the double soul heart drop at some point here. Okay, good. Good. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage right now. Right. Wait a minute. We're not meant to be... We're not meant to be fighting a boss in here. Excuse me. I wonder if this will give me a boss item or if it's going to break everything. Nope, it just makes you fight an extra boss for no reason. Intriguing. <laughs> there you go. Dad's nerd. Let's go. That's kind of funny. It's gone. Just, get over it. Just get over it. Oh my lord. What on earth were them? How can you have spent our savings? Okay, health was actually way more fine than I could have possibly imagined. Am I going to get Lemma getting Wisps? Oh, I am. You get Lemma getting Wisps on every one of these. That's kind of absurd. Glitch card. Ranger. This is a little bit nutty. Ow. Didn't drop it in here. It was like downpour one or two, maybe? I don't remember. But yeah, we're going to get a lot of Lemma getting Wisps built up here. Jordan Heart there as well. Getting a lot of those. Oh my god, that's a lot of these things. I, th I don't know if any of the mods that I've got on currently that add rooms add any rooms to the Ascent. But it's definitely a possibility. I know that you can add rooms specifically to the Ascent. So, wouldn't surprise me if a few modders have taken on that challenge. God damn the wisps. The wisps are going hard right now. Oh wait, you're friendly? Hell yeah. The big uh, the big pooter. Oh, more golden hearts too. The big pooter, I was like, nah, he's gonna be a problem. Then I realized, oh wait, he friendly. He like me. All these boys are friendly now. Are you friendly too? Hell yeah. This is amazing. They're all friendly. I don't know what I'm going to use all this money for, but I'm picking it up nonetheless.
Go, my lemma getting wisps. Give me something amazing. I don't know what it'd be, but give me something amazing. Another golden heart. This angel item is incredible. There you go. We got it. We got it. Oh, we got a wormwood in here. This is definitely a custom room. There's no normal wormwood fights within um, within the regular play of the alt path that I know of, at least. It's a pretty cool room for Wormwood, though. It's intriguing. God damn, I honestly think the hardest carry in this run is Brainworm. Brainworm's so useful for uh, pinwheel. Or spinning wheel, whatever it's called. It works so well together. I've not really been using my uh, release thing that often, but that's kind of fine. I don't think we need to. Like, it is good, but it's probably better with a more traditional setup, especially, like, something... Imagine it with, like, something like soy milk. It'd be incredible. It sort of just gets used when it gets used sort of thing at the minute. Right. Away we go. Careful for bombing me. Do not bomb me. Oh, ho, ho, even the brimstone flies are in love with me. This is so good. Look at them all go. <laughs> That's amazing. Absolutely after him. My fly army. Up we go. And here we are. Within the ascent. Full soul, heart, health. Hell yes. Some extra pennies. XP bar is filling. Grab ourselves that just in case. Mum's wig is a great item to get. The flies just get in there and brimstone the hell out of him straight, straight away. I like that. Thank you, baby bomb. Two angry flies on him as well. TV is busted and dead. So cool. Oh god. For some reason I just did not react there at all. I don't know why. God damn, he froze for so long then. He lust. Let me slow. Oh, God. I just keep freezing. It's okay. It's okay. He's over. He's dead. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. It's so long since we've been here. Oh, I've not even seen the unique boss bars for these bosses yet. That's awesome. The beast is going to be cool. Losing all of our lemma getting wisps here, but honestly, they're keeping us safe, so I'm not going to complain. Double up them. Oh, we got a one up from getting up to 100 coins, too. That's awesome. We actually doubled our one up. Oh, there's a half soul heart there. I wanted that. God damn it. Eternal heart. Don't leave me. <laughs> That's so funny. I still would have loved to have seen this with piercing. I think it would have been so good with piercing. Yeah, being able to see these guys' health now is so nice. It's a lovely quality of life thing. There you go, we double again. Yeah, imagine if doubling one-ups actually gave you an extra life during that, that room. That'd be insane. For bosses like this. 
Ooh, he's even got a second health bar. That's that. This is the, this is really cool. Just such a good mod. Really needs implementing in the game officially. Okay, we've lost a little bit of HP here, so we need to be careful. We do now have a lot of Bebskis, which is very nice. What the hell? Oh, my little bomb dude hit me. I was like, what the hell just exploded on me? Then I realized. Yeah, that does a lot of damage if it hits fully. Look how many flies we have around us. That's insane. Oh, it's a laser. That's so cool. Yeah, that's going to be super strong against this guy because he passes through it. Yeah, you can see the, the chunking that it does in his health bar when we do it. But yeah, him having a health bar is so nice here. Of course, he stays still now. Okay, Nightlight is going to fuck this section so hard. So we just got to kind of take the hits on the noggin. Hope for the best. I don't know how I didn't get hit more there. Okay, so you need to get him down to about that health to, to get into the last phase. That's interesting. I thought it would be lower than that. I thought it would be like 90% of his health off before I got to this phase. Interesting to see. But there you go. That's going to close out this fight. Feeling very good about that one. That was a really fun run. Box of Friends was actually a huge help there as well. Some very cool items. A new planetarium item. That's awesome. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.